Hello dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video, we are going to discuss about current electricity chapter. Okay, so last class we discussed about the second chapter. Now we are moving to the third chapter, current electricity. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about some of the important formulas in this chapter. First, we discussed about the drift velocity. Drift velocity, what is the formula for drift velocity? I is equal to N A V D E. That and all you know. Drift velocity general formula is minus E E by M into 2. This is drift velocity minus E E by M into 2. What is the small letter E represent? This is charge of the electron and capital letter A is the electric field strength and M is the mass of electron to relaxation time. Vd equals drift velocity equals minus Ee by M into 2. Now, what is the relation connecting drift velocity and the current? Drift velocity and current is I equals Na Vd E. Okay, N is the number of electrons per unit volume. Number of electrons per unit volume is small letter L. N is number of electrons per unit volume. A is the area of cross section. So, of the conductor. So, e, VD equals minus EE by M into 2 and I equals NAVD. Now, Ohm's law equation, you know, uh, what is V equals IR? Resistance, V equals IR. Here, resistance R equals rho into L by A. And then, uh, this resistance in terms of R equals uh, rho into L by A. And here, we can write rho as equal to R A by L. In terms of, uh, what is that, in terms of uh, relaxation time and all, we can represent that as equal to M by N E square 2. Okay, this equation also important only for the specific resistance. Specific resistance R equals, uh, sorry, rho equals R A by L and that is equal to M by N E square 2. Then another uh, one is current density. Current density J. J equals sigma into E. This formula you know that is uh, Ohm's law. Right. J equals sigma into E. What is this current density? Current acting per unit area. So J equals I by A. Conductivity. Sigma you know what is that is 1 by rho. 1 by resistivity is conductivity. So J equals sigma E is the alternative for, form of uh, this Ohm's law. J equals I by A is the formula for current density. Then next we learned about the resistors in series and parallel R equals R1 plus R2 and RS, RS is equal to R1 plus R2 and 1 by R equals 1 by RP equals 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. This is resistance in series and parallel. In series means current will remain same and potential difference will be varying that is V1 plus V2. In the case of a parallel connection, voltage will remain same. Current will be dividing among the resistors I1 plus I2. Okay, so next we are going to consider about the temperature dependence. What is the temperature dependence between of the resistance, how it is depending on temperature. So, RT will be equal to R0 into 1 plus alpha T. So, T is the difference in temperature, how much it is increased. Alpha into delta T we can give that as, that is the increase in temperature. So, resistance is depending on temperature. So, alpha, what is this alpha? Alpha represents the temperature coefficient of resistance. Temperature coefficient of resistance that is alpha RT. Resistance at temperature T is equal to R0 into 1 plus alpha delta T. Okay. Next we learned about how to find out the internal resistance. Internal resistance R equals uh, what is that um, or 
how the internal resistance and potential differences are depending that one we will write v equals e minus ir right v equals e minus ir this is one of the formula for finding out the how the potential difference and emf how it is related next is if an external resistance is connected in that how we will be finding out the uh, resistance resistance internal resistance r will be equal to e by v minus 1 into capital r this formula also you should by hand if we are connecting an external resistance of resistance r r equals e by v minus 1 into r here e is the emf and v is the potential difference next we are going to discuss about the combination of cells if the cells are arranged in series connection or in parallel connection, what will be the effective current and all we are going to find out, okay. So, if suppose n identical res n cells are there and they are connected in series, if all the cells are connected in series, how can we find out the current? Current in the circuit will be equal to n e divided by r plus n r n cells each are having resistance r then n e divided by r plus n r this is the formula for finding out the current and if there are m identical resistors if they are connected in parallel if the cells are connected in parallel then i will be equal to e divided by r plus r by m m cells are there if there are m cells and if all these are connected in parallel then i will be equal to e divided by r plus r by m okay this is for the uh, parallel connection then if suppose capital n the number of cells cells are connected in mixed grouping mixed grouping is not required for you then also i'll tell the formula current i equals mn into e divided by mr plus nr this is the formula for finding out the current uh, in uh, mixed grouping that is capital n equals small m into uh, small n okay so this here m rows in m rows in parallel connection and each row has n series connection okay so m rows are there they are in parallel and in each m each row it, we have n resistors in n cells in series connection and while we are multiplying mn is equal to n i equals mn into e divided by m capital r plus n small r okay this is about the current which is flowing through the circuit and now if we are having two cells of different emf i'm considering emfs e1 and e2 and their internal resistances are r1 and r2 they are connected in parallel then the net EMF formula will be equal to E1 R2 plus E2 R1 divided by R1 plus R2. This is the net formula, net EMF of the cell. E1 and E2 are the two cells which are connected in parallel and whose internal resistances are R1 and R2. Then the net EMF will be equal to E1 R2 plus E2 R1 divided by R1 plus R2 okay and internal resistance if they are connecting in C parallel you know 1 by r p equals 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 emf will be equal to e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 okay now next we are going to consider the joule's law joule's law of heating in joule's law of heating here uh, we know h is equal to i square rt that is joule's law right so joule's law h equals i square rt and or in terms of v and or if we are representing v square by r into t or we can write, uh, present it as v i into t and what is how we can represent the power power equals v i that formula and all you would have learned it in small class itself right i square r and we can write it as v square by r also power unit is watt and energy heat energy it is unit is joule here unit is watt and this is about the electric power now we are going to consider for the equations see here what will be the power consumed if we are giving an external resistance 
if I am giving an external resistance of R and the current internal resistance is small R, then the current in the circuit we already saw that it has E is equals I equals E by R plus R. And in that, what is the terminal potential difference? That one V equals E minus I R. From this formula only V I into capital R plus I into small r. That is equal to E. That one we wrote it as V equals E minus I R. In that power equals I square R. Now, next is if the uh, R is equal to 0, if we are not giving any external circuit or we can say it is short circuit. If it is short circuit, external resistance is equal to 0, then current will be equal to E by R. That time, what will be the value of V? Because E by R, E minus E, it will become, so it is equal to 0. Terminal potential difference is equal to 0. Hence, the power in the circuit also will be equal to 0. If there is no resistance or short, short circuit, if we can, or we can say if it is a short circuit between them, R equals 0, then I equals E by R. Using this equation only, we can write down all the things, okay? And if we are giving a, an external resistance equal to internal resistance then what will be the value of current i will be equal to e by 2r what about the value of potential difference v here capital r equals uh, so what is that small r right so i we can write it as e by 2r okay e minus r, e by 2r into r r and r will get cancelled it will become half so if the external resistance is equal to the internal resistance of the cell and the potential difference will become just half of the initial value and what about the power v square by r e is becoming half right so it will be e square by 4r it will be e square by 4r next is if it is an open circuit if it is an open circuit we can give r as equal to infinity if r is equal to infinity what about the current current will be equal to zero potential difference will be equal to emf of the circuit itself and the total power will be equal to zero this, uh, so these are about the uh, if different external resistors when we are including this is about the short circuit this is short circuit okay so all these points please keep that in mind and depending on this we will be doing some of the uh, mcqs and assertion recent type questions in the next class so i hope today's video is useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye